Welcome to Gen AI Research Insight Hub channel. Let's deep dive into some cutting-edge AI research. Today, uh, we're diving into RAGS. It's a new method for evaluating how well AI systems can use external information to answer your questions. It's especially relevant with all the buzz around large language models like ChatGPT. Yeah, you're right. This is a hot topic. Um, think about it. We're asking AI to do more than just parrot back facts. We want it to understand reason and provide insightful answers based on real world information. Our AGS helps us measure how well they can actually do that. Okay, so it's not enough for AI to just be smart anymore. We need to hold it accountable for how it uses information. But before we get into our case, can you quickly explain what retrieval augmented generation is and why it even matters? Absolutely. Retrieval augmented generation, or R-RAGE, lets AI models access external databases or documents to pull in relevant information. Imagine you ask an AI about a recent scientific breakthrough. Instead of just relying on its limited training data, a RJ system can search scientific journals and pull up the latest research papers to give you a more comprehensive answer. So it's like having an AI research assistant who can instantly access a massive library of knowledge. That's pretty powerful. But I imagine evaluating these RG systems can be tricky. How do you measure if the AI is actually using the information correctly? and not just cherry-picking data to support its own biases. That's precisely the challenge RGAS addresses. Traditional evaluation methods often rely on pre-written correct answers, which isn't always feasible or even realistic, especially when dealing with rapidly evolving information. RGAS takes a different approach, focusing on three core aspects, faithfulness, answer relevance, and context relevance. Okay, those sound important, but can you break them down for us? Let's start with faithfulness. What does that even mean in the context of AI? Think of it like checking if a journalist is accurately quoting their sources. Faithfulness ensures that the AI's answer stays true to the information it retrieved. We don't want the AI twisting the facts or making things up, which is a real concern with these powerful language models. So it's like a built-in lie detector for AI. That's reassuring. But what about answer relevance? It seems obvious that the answer should be relevant to the question. But why is that even a separate aspect? You'd be surprised how often AI can go off on tangents or provide information that's technically correct but doesn't actually address the user's question. Answer relevance ensures that the AI stays focused and provides a targeted response. It's like having a conversation with someone who actually listens and understands what you're asking. That makes a lot of sense. We don't want our AI to be that friend who rambles on about unrelated topics when we need a straight answer. Okay, last one, context relevance. What's that all about? Context relevance ensures that the AI picks out the most pertinent information from its sources. Imagine searching a huge library for a specific answer. You don't want to get bogged down by irrelevant details. Context relevance helps the AI focus on the key information needed to provide a concise and accurate response. So it's like having a filter that sifts through all the noise and highlights the most important information. Okay, I'm starting to see how these three aspects work together to evaluate a RAGG system's overall performance. But how does RAGG AIs actually measure all of this? It sounds pretty complex. It is clever, and you might be surprised to learn that RAGS actually uses another large language model similar to ChatGPT to do the evaluating. It's AI judging AI, which turns out to be incredibly effective. Wait, so it's like having one AI grade another AI's homework. That's fascinating. Can you walk us through how that actually works? Let's take faithfulness as an example. AGAS takes the AI's answer and breaks it down into individual statements. Then for each statement, it asks the evaluating LLM. Can this statement be proven true based on the information the AI retrieved? It's like having a super-powered fact checker that can analyze every detail of the AI's response. That's impressive. So it's not just looking at the overall answer. It's dissecting each part to ensure it's grounded in the source material. What a meticulous approach. Right. And it applies similar techniques to evaluate answer relevance and context relevance, using carefully crafted prompts to guide the evaluating LLM. So where do we see this in action? Did the researchers create some sort of AI testing ground to put RegGAs through its paces? They did. They developed a new data set called WikiEvil, specifically designed to challenge RAGE systems. Ooh, WikiEvil. Yeah. Sounds intriguing. What makes it such a good testing ground for a GS? WikiEvil uses Wikipedia pages about recent events. Remember, these AI models are trained on massive data sets, but that data only goes up to a certain point in time. WikiEvil forces the AI to rely on external information, those Wikipedia pages, to answer questions about things that happened after its training data cutoff. It's a much more realistic test of how well the AI can use Reg in a real-world setting. It's like giving the AI a pop quiz on current events that it couldn't possibly have studied for. That's a brilliant way to test its ability to learn and adapt. 
But how do we know if the AI is actually doing a good job? I mean, how do they even create the correct answers for Wikio? That's where human intelligence comes in. The researchers had humans carefully annotate the WikiEvil dataset, providing detailed judgments for each of the three RGAS aspects. So we have this robust dataset with real-world information and human-validated judgments, creating the perfect testing ground for RGAs. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat. We have this powerful new evaluation framework, RGAS, and a challenging testing ground, WikiEvil. What happens when we put them together? How well does RGAS actually perform? Well, the results are quite promising. When tested on WikiEvil, RGAS aligned much better with human judgments than other evaluation methods. This suggests that RGAS is indeed capturing something fundamental about how well AI is using external information. That's great to hear. But give me some specifics. What were some of the standout results? Did anything surprise you? One of the most impressive findings was the high accuracy for faithfulness. It turns out AI can be quite good at sticking to the facts when it's properly guided and evaluated. Of course, there's still room for improvement, especially when it comes to context relevance. Even with RAGS, we're still working on making sure AI consistently picks out the most relevant information. But the fact that we can now measure these things so precisely is a huge step forward. That's a really exciting step. But I want to shift gears a bit and talk about what this means for the average person. We're interacting with AI systems more and more every day. How can understanding RGAS help us navigate this increasingly AI-driven world? That's a great question. I think the biggest takeaway is that it empowers you to be a more informed and discerning consumer of AI. Knowing that a framework like RGAS exists can help you ask the right questions when interacting with AI systems, especially those that claim to be using external information. Can you give us some examples? What kind of questions should we be asking? Don't be afraid to get specific. Ask things like, where did you get that information? How do you know it's accurate? Can you show me the sources you used? If an AI system can't provide clear answers or evidence to back up its claims, that should be a red flag. So it's like being a fact checker, but for AI. We can't just blindly trust any AI, no matter how impressive it seems. We need to hold it accountable, just like we would any other source of information. This is where critical thinking skills become even more important in the age of AI. Absolutely. And it's not just about individual responsibility. We need broader conversations about AI literacy and ethical AI development. Policymakers, educators, and tech companies all have a role to play in ensuring AI is developed and used responsibly. I completely agree. Okay, let's shift back to RGAES and talk about its potential impact on different industries. We've touched on healthcare, but where else could this technology make a real difference? The possibilities are really vast. Imagine financial advisors using AI powered by AirEdge to create personalized investment plans based on up-to-the-minute market data and research. Or lawyers using AirEdge-based systems to analyze complex legal documents and find relevant precedents. I can also see this being hugely beneficial in education. Students could use these systems to research complex topics, get personalized tutoring, or even get feedback on their writing based on a wider range of sources than any human teacher could possibly access. Exactly. And think about fields like scientific research or journalism, where staying up to date on the latest findings is crucial. AIGS could help ensure that AI systems in these fields are using the most relevant and accurate information, leading to more informed decisions and breakthroughs. This all sounds incredibly promising. But I know no technology is perfect. What are some of the limitations or challenges that researchers still need to address with RAGAs? One challenge is ensuring that RAGAs can keep up with the rapid pace of AI development. New models and architectures are emerging all the time, and we need to make sure RAGAs can adapt to evaluate these new systems effectively. Another area for improvement is context relevance. We've made progress, but there's still work to be done to make sure AI is consistently identifying and using the most relevant information from its sources. So even though RIGS is a significant step forward, it's still an ongoing process. We need to keep refining these evaluation methods as AI technology continues to evolve. Precisely. And it's important to acknowledge that while RIGS can provide valuable insights, it doesn't offer a complete picture. We still need human judgment and critical thinking to fully evaluate AI systems and their impact. That's a crucial point. Yeah. Metrics and scores can only tell us so much. We need to approach AI development and evaluation with a holistic mindset, considering not just the technical aspects, but also the ethical and societal implications. I couldn't agree more. It's about finding that balance between harnessing the power of AI while ensuring it's used responsibly and for the benefit of humanity. This has been a truly fascinating discussion. But before we wrap things up, I want to circle back to something you mentioned earlier, AI literacy. It seems like this is becoming increasingly important as AI plays a larger role in our lives. 
What are some things our listeners can do to become more AI literate? That's a fantastic question. First and foremost, I encourage everyone to stay curious and informed about AI developments. There are lots of great resources available online and in libraries. Don't be afraid to dive in and learn more about how these systems work and how they're being used. It's like anything else. The more you understand it, the less intimidating it becomes. And the better equipped you are to make informed decisions about how you interact with AI. Exactly. And don't shy away from engaging in conversations about AI ethics and responsible AI development. These are important issues that affect us all. And we need diverse voices and perspectives to shape the future of AI in a positive way. So we've been talking about this new framework, RGAS, for evaluating AI systems that use external information. But I want to like bring it back down to earth for our listeners. Like, How can we use this in our everyday lives? Because we're interacting with AI all the time these days, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we make sure the AI we are using is doing things the right way? Right. Understanding RGAS can help with that mm -hmm. um, because it shows us what questions to ask when we're using AI. Like what kinds of questions? Well, don't be afraid to really get into it. Like ask where the AI got its info. Like how does it know it's right? And can it actually show you its sources? If it can't answer those questions, that's a bad sign. Yeah. So basically be a little suspicious. Like a detective. Exactly. We can't just trust AI blindly. We have to think critically. Totally. And that's yeah. something we've talked about before on the show. Like human judgment is still so important. Absolutely. We can't just let the machines do all the thinking for us. Right. It's about being smart about how we use AI, not just letting it use us. But, you know, this is bigger than just us as individuals, too. Like, we need to be having these conversations about AI ethics and literacy on a larger scale. Oh, absolutely. Everyone needs to be involved. Policymakers, educators tech companies, we all have a responsibility to make sure AI is being used ethically. For sure. For sure. Well, this has been such a fascinating deep dive. I hope our listeners feel like they have a better grasp on this whole RGAS thing <laughs> and how it can be used to create better, more trustworthy AI. It's been great talking with you about this. And to all our listeners out there, keep asking those tough questions and don't be afraid to push the boundaries of what AI can do, but always remember to do it responsibly. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, and be sure to let us know in the comments if there's any other papers or research you'd like us to explore in the future.